Oh, let me guess. Low start? Low start. Oh, Monday and a low stream start. This is going to get interesting. Oh. Oh. You, yeah, you can say. Jesus. Oh, Peter Coffin is an idiot. Um, okay. <laughs> Fairly. Uh, isn't that... Um, yeah. Holy shit. Um... Like, that's literally the title of a YouTube video. Um, Peter Coffin is an idiot. You know, you know that AOC stream that happened the other day? A, a lot of people have been like, this is so great, it should be used as a model for organizing leftists online. Here's the thing, and I want to quickly preface this with an understand. All right. Hey, Zippy. Um... I don't even, dude, Zippy, I can't even begin to think about that. Like, I can't even begin to think about that. Uh, I, who posted that? Fucking, oh, Beck did. Um... Do you have the do you have the exchange? Uh Sweden? I'd love to see it. That's fucking I I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. I'm kind of tired. I didn't sleep right. My body's on fire right now. Um. Well, when Kiz is done, tell, tell him to raid over here. Oh, you do. All right. You know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna pop it open because oh, I need to reinstall the the fucking attachment. Makes some sense. All right. This is an individual solution for a systemic problem. Well, let's say an individual choice consumer uh, consumer choice dictates the market, even though it doesn't. This would be increasing the demand for porn. Guy who doesn't understand economics in the slightest inadvertently promotes right wing supply side economics. Uh, do you also, do you think there's left wing? Uh, I think you have a un poor understanding of say's law and how supply creates demand. Supply doesn't create demand for the end product, just those products and services that lead to creation of final product. Uh, the final product needs demand to be created still. What you're spouting is the right wing version that claims the existence of a product creates demand for said product, which is not a cas the uh, which is not the prescriptive term supply side actually means. Um, did he did he ever respond back? Um new alerts. I got tired of it popping up up here and shit. So just down there now. Yeah. Um not yet. <sighs> Thank you, Kezzy. Michael McAllister. Um yeah, I, I, I got tired of it fucking popping up, so I, I worked on it over the weekend. I did a few different ver versions of it, actually. Um, in the end, I fucking undid most of my, like, graphic work that I actually did to get it going. But, um, oh, Jesus. Why do people fucking think edibles are somehow, like, the low, the, like, shallow end of the pool? What, when did that start? Like, oh, I'll just eat it and it'll, it'll be fine. Right. Like I, that's, that's less than smoking it. So, like, is it, 
is it because there's like, oh, same here, Kaz. My hands are on fire. My fucking legs are on fire. My, my, it, yes, same here, Kaz. Um, oh, it's probably just camera drift, Cricks. It's, it's, there, there isn't anything intentional there. Um, hey, for twos. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, Kat told me, I just, I said on a VC, uh, but, uh, like on Friday, I said, I really, like, I, I got this idea. I was like, I really, like, I enjoyed not having the alerts on the stream. And, um, ah, thank you. Um, thank you kindly and welcome. And Kat was like, I was like, I want something more subtle. I'm like, I want something that's like a, a cell phone notification or something like that, right? And Kat was like, if you get rid of Mother Anarchy, I will consider this a Neil Lib stream from this point on. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, okay. The song stays, Kat. I get it. I get it. The song stays. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I did. I, I really enjoyed not having them take up screen real estate and shit. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What does Zippy say? Oh, um, yeah, fucking... Oh, and the shout out was there beforehand. Um, oh, fuck me. What should we do first? Um, I feel like it's since fucking hmm, Dippy McGee is on the air, I should, I should do this. Um, okay. I mean, if it's a, sure, sure, Kez. I just changed the title to no and caps, uh, no and caps aren't anarchists. And we'll do theory right at the top of the fucking show. I think we did 4.1. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> 4.1. Yeah, we did 4.1, so I'm on 4.2. Hey, <laughs> uh, Puka. Um... Your friend is retarded. Yeah, I said it. I'm in that kind of mood. Yeah, I know. The R slur, ableism. Euf see euphemism treadmill. See, Ke uh, see uh, Kai's fucking uh, rant on um, euphemistic language and how uh, these pejoratives end up rotating. Blah, 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 blah. I don't have, I don't have time. I'm in too much pain. I don't have fucking time. I'm going to shorthand this shit. Yeah. Anti-capitalist means you're less anarchist than him. He's a fucking idiot. Or them. I'm sorry. You said it just... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a fucking idiot. Anarchism is inherently anti-capitalist. Capitalism is fundamental, fundamentally hierarchical. It is fundamentally coercive. It is fundamentally a, uh, an oppressive system. It utilizes wage slavery or wage labor... As a core component of itself, its privatization of the commons alone dictates that it's anti-anarchist. Fuck your friend. Friend. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, it should. Yeah. Since when is he a fucking fascist? I'm a secret fascist, y'all. I'm a secret fascist. 
I just found out. Who the fuck is this person, by the way? I'm going to fucking call him out on stream. Who the fuck is this person? I don't know this fucking name. I'm a secret fascist, y'all. I'm not the sort to try and cancel people, but I'm just one person. Uh, I'm just one person in the end. So I'm not going to go around spreading this as it's all based on gut feelings, but neither am I going to hang out in his space. I do wish him well, and I hope I'm wrong, or that if I'm right, he realizes his errors. Cyberheart. Whoever the fuck Cyberheart is. I don't know who this fucking person is. I don't know, apparently they've been in my chat before. Um, yeah, apparently I'm a, I'm a secret fascist. Cool. I get all sorts of red flags with Kai. There's a variety of dog whistles he used. Not in his arguments, but when he's not arguing going on about his opinions. He stated that words don't matter. They don't. Actions do. They're just tongue and throat and mouth noises we use to convey ideas. And at the best of times, we might understand what each other is trying to convey. At the worst of times, there's a complete breakdown of, uh, of thought process. At the end of the day, your actions are what matter to me. Sorry. Um, Reddit is the best of humanity. No, I said Reddit is both the best and worst of humanity. And everything in between. But, you know, hey, feel free to misquote me entirely. Twitter is the worst of humanity distilled. It is. I stand by that quote. He's verbally supported known fascist Count Dankula. What I said was, he's funny. I also said, he's a hugely problematic individual, but he's funny. About 50% of the time, I believe was the direct quote I said in that moment. And he said that the left should do a grift. They should. The left, the left should be more Machiavellian. The left should get on it. Because they get, their, they get fucking bodied every fucking time they go, go against the right wing. Because the right wing plays dirty. They know how to play the fucking game to win. All of these, all of those ideas and more are ones which I came to on my own in my 20s or had learned from the alt-right by my early 30s. All of them are thick. Great punctuation and grammar, by the way. Uh, oh, and capitalization here, by the way. Just gotta, I'm just going to point that out because I'm being a prick. Um, because I'm being a fucking prick. Um, uh, all of which I had uh, come to my own in my 20s or had learned from the alt-right by my early 30s. All of them are things that used, uh, th which were used to convince me and others to over to the alt-right. Yeah, don't go to the alt-right. They're fucking assholes. Um, <laughs> here, 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 here you go. Um, here's, here's me pipelining you to the alt-right, everyone. Don't go to the fucking alt-right. They're assholes. Okay? They're fucking horrible, horrible people. And um, social programs, mutual aid, and uh, and sort of um, um, free associative proper, uh, free associative uh, power dynamics, and uh, 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 fucking dual power structures are a superior form of organizing. Don't go to the alt right; they're horrible people. This is me pipelining you to the alt right, everyone. Just so you know, just so you know. I just want to be upfront about that because I'm a secret fascist. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I think Kai is a secret fascist. That's what my gut says. Even his general demeanor comes off as very sus. Somebody get this person in here. I want to fucking talk to him. You can't tell me what to do. That's what my gut says. Even, uh, I'm sorry. These things on their own probably wouldn't mean anything, but they add up and match up with so many things from my lived experience. Ugh, I'm sorry. The lived experience argument is always a fucking bullshit thing. It's a, I, it's, but I, 
fuck everything you've done, fuck everything you've said, my lived experience contradicts who you are. So I'm going to go with my gut on this one. Fuck you. Um, these things unnerve me greatly. Jesus, of course you did. I'm not the tr sort. I'm not the sort to try and cancel people. I'm just one person in the end, so I'm not going to go around spreading this as it's all based on gut feelings. But neither am I going to hang out in his space. I do wish him well and hope that I'm wrong or that if I am right, he realizes his errors. Yeah, I'm in a mood. Fucking bring him in here. <laughs> the pink nails are a huge red fascist flag, and the skirt. Yeah, um, for sure. Um, let's see. No, Cupcake. They weren't. And Kez. Yeah, sure. Thanks. They've blocked you entirely. Um, and McGritty, you're welcome on making that point. I said, wow, idealist much on a response to a comment by them. And they didn't catch it. It was a joke and jumped down my throat. And Kez was like, chill. And they pitched a fit in Discord and in Twitch. For fuck's sake, this person's on a, a person's on a hell of a roll. Ugh. Cool. Secret fascist. I'm a secret fascist. Um. You know what? Add it to the list. I'm the president and CEO of Antifa. I'm a member of the Illuminati. I'm a member of the Freemasons. I'm on George Soros's payroll. I'm a part of a uh, of the gay conspiracy that dates back into prehistory. And now I'm also a secret fascist, y'all. Like, fucking add it to the list. Quantum crypto fascist. I told asshole, I wear many hats. You wear many hats. Yes, I do. I do. Um, fascism checklist. You play World of Tanks. Um, I'm barely aware of that as a game. Uh. Oh, I always love that. I always love it when they fucking back out. They start some shit and then they're like, well, I don't want to fight. I see you. I see you, Cyberheart. Um. Take care and I wish you well in life. May you find peace and happiness and be filled with loving kind. <laughs> I, yeah, let's do some fucking anti ancap theory right at the top. You know what? I'm going to be a little bitch about it. Oh, I can't. I can't. That's TOS. I was going to put, hey, Cyberheart, you want to say something to me as a stream title? feeling petty i'm feeling petty i'm feeling i'm in pain and i'm feeling petty so yeah i'm pretty sure calling people out like that it's gonna be it's gonna be somewhere in there like harassment or some shit like that <clears throat> Redacted. I just, I just. Can you hang on to it for a little bit, Redacted? Just, just remind me in like, I don't know, fucking half an hour. I mean, I just sat down too. Mm. All right. All right, let's do some theory. Like, at the top of the show. We'll do D-Gen story time after theory. Oh, that's not going to happen, Jen. That's not going to happen. Thank you, though. 
Um, but no, that's not really an option. Night, Kaz. I was good. We got a bunch of shit done. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll do we'll do DST afterwards. So you have to sit through theory if you're gonna do it. <laughs> carrot and stick, carrot and stick. <sighs> yeah, right. That's. <clears throat> Thanks, Aspen. Um, you know what I can do? Everybody check the stream title. Everybody check the stream title. <laughs> what I can do is that. Fuck him. I'm sorry. I don't have time in my world for that bullshit. All couched in the language of, but I care. Sure you do. Uh, Rev, it depends on who they are. <sighs> hey, redact. <laughs> I might have to turn off the alerts. That's, uh... Thank you for reminding me, basically. Um, all right. Descriptions. Hosting. Oh, you know what? Fucking, I need, I never did the, I never redid the bits, I don't think. Oh, I need to redo the bits one. Uh all right. All right. How big is 4.2? And 4.3? And what? 4.4 4 and 4.5? 4 oh, 4.2 4 is long. But we may be able to get these done. <laughs> Rev. Oh, Rev. Myofascist massage. Um, all right. No, on Discord, by the looks of the screenshot. Uh, zippy, just, just, just as a point of correction. <laughs> I still, Kai is a secret fascist. <laughs> oh, God. And just so everybody, let's, you know what, just, just while we're at it, while we're at it, just, just some Umberto echo cult of tradition. Um, oh yeah. Hugely into, tra uh, into tradition and around these parts. Let's just do the checklist. I'm feeling, I'm feeling smarmy. Let's, let's do the checklist. I'm huge traditionalist, right? Transhumanists and wanting to shuffle off the mortal coil and overhaul the entirety of the socioeconomic system. Hugely traditionalist. So definitely check one, definitely check one. Um, the rejection of modernism. The Enlightenment, the age of reason, is seen as the beginning of modern depravity in the sense er fascism can be defined as irrationalism. Woo, check that one. Definitely. Fucking total rejection of modernism. Um, for sure. And, and you know, the beginning of depravity. It's not like I would lean into something like a concept of degeneracy. The cult of action for action's sake. Hmm, yes. I've never spoken on the performative aspect of certain protests before, nor, you know, actually making change in your environment as opposed to just sitting on fucking stream wanking off doing theory. So check three, fucking check three. 
um, disagreement is treason. Oh, for sure. I've never hosted conversation amongst disparate ideologies, philosophies, or thought. And if you disagree with me, I immediately ban you. That's that's a hundred percent, hundred percent. Fear of difference. Um, so we're four for four, just so everybody knows we're four for four on the, the Umberto Eco fascism checklist or, or I'm managing to somehow advocate for these things and hide them at the same time. So either way, I am a master secret fascist or, you know, fucking whatever. Uh, five fear of difference. The first appeal of a fascist or prematurely fascist movement is to appeal against the intruders. Well, as far as anarcho, uh, so-called anarcho capitalists go, I don't tolerate them. But uh, generally speaking, I run an open tent, allow anybody in. Um, so the uh, appeal against the intruders definitely doesn't hold water. Or again, I'm a master secret fascist. Appeal to social frustration. That I do do. That I do do. Um, so one, one, six, six. Um, I disagree entirely hey, with your take, Kai. Well, I mean, agree to disagree. Obsession with a plot possibly an international one. Yeah, we don't make fun of one, uh, fun of the people who come in here and say globalist immediately, right? That's definitely not a fucking thing we do all the time. The enemy is both strong and weak. Mm, yes. By continuously shifting the rhetorical focus, the enemies are at the same time too strong and too weak. Yeah, they're not weak. They're fucking, they've got their boot heel on our fucking throats, y'all. It's a life or death situation. They're not fucking weak. Neoliberalism rules this world. All right, they fucking won, right? That's it's not, they're not weak, right? The United States military is not weak. The United States federal government is not weak. The fucking international currency market is not a weak concept, right? Don't, don't get it fucking twisted. Again, you know, fucking check that one. Pacifism is trafficking with the enemy. Yeah, for sure. Pass- pacifism is tra- trafficking with the enemy. I've never pointed out that the era of the propaganda of the deed is over. And that um, if you uh, choose not to engage in violent action, um, that would that the federal government is completely ready and hoping you will engage in that that would be counter uh, counterproductive to your your cause. No, I've never pointed that out entirely. Contempt for the weak. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't. I don't. You know those disabled people and the fucking all the people that would be genocided under um, uh, under. Um, primitivism fuck all them i i've just you know that's been lip service everybody is educated to become a hero yeah you're not a fucking hero y'all this the, the cult of hero heroism which links into the cult of death yeah don't do that this isn't a fucking hollywood movie but again who the whatever you know um machismo and weaponry mm, i do do that too i got two out of the list selective populism um this is, in, uh, this is in our future, a TV or internet populism in which the emotional response to a, of a selected group of citizens can be presented and accepted as the voice of the people. Yeah, I definitely don't talk about individualism being the foundational concept of anarchism at all, all the time, and uh, homo- homogenize the people into a singular group. That's, that's definitely a thing I do all the time. Or fascism, fascism speaks new speak. All the Nazi or fascist school boards made us use an impoverished vocabulary or elementary syntax. I for sure don't enjoy a uh, multisyllabic linguistic uh, rhetoric. And I for sure don't raise the bar of expectation within a prescriptive spit. Fuck you, Cyberheart. Anyway. Secret fascism, my, uh, my ass. <sighs> spent my entire fucking life fighting against these assholes and fucking one dumb motherfucker. We'll move to England. How Kai right. disagrees. What they got there is, uh, you know, drive-by arguments. I say, Jeremy, isn't that Reginald B. Stiffworth, a young upstart chap who's been touting the merits of a united European Commonwealth? Why, yes, I dare say that's the fellow. Oh, let's get him. Oh, Reginald! I disagree! (laughs) I disagree! Um... Oh, Caboose here, Caboose. Caboose, man, my man, my man. It's coming your way. You got to see it for yourself. Where's Caboose? It's in your DMs, Caboose. 
Get your DMs. Um, all right. All right. Back to being petty towards the other people. All right, let's let's do some anti ancap theory. Get a couple of um, recordings in the in the can, um, and then we'll do Dgen story time after that. But I want to get this done. <clears throat> I don't I don't want to be reading this document like next year. Okay, <laughs> I want this fucking done. <laughs> right, Caboose? It's fucking brilliant. Uh, it's fucking brilliant, man. This is your brain on liberalism. <laughs> All right. Chapter 4, Section 2. Why is the Lockean proviso important? Robert Nozick, in his work Anarchy, State, and Utopia, presented a case for private property rights that was based on what he termed the Lockean proviso, namely that common or unowned land and resources could be appropriated by individuals as long as the position is uh, a position of others is not worsened by uh, doing so. However, if we do take this proviso seriously, private property rights cannot be defined. Thus, Nozick's arguments in favor of property rights fail. Some libertarians, particularly those associated with the Austrian school of economics, argue that we, we must reject the Lockean proviso, probably due to the fact that it can be used to undermine the, the case for absolute property rights, but their argument goes as follows. If an individual appropriates and uses a previously unused resource, it is because it has value to them, as an individual, to engage in such action. The individual has stolen nothing because it was previously unowned, and we cannot know if other people are better or worse off. All we know is that, for whatever reason, they did not appropriate the resource. Quote, if latecomers are worse off, well, then, that's, uh, then, uh, then that is their proper assumption of risk in this free and uncertain world. There is no longer a vast frontier in the United States, and there is no point crying over the fact. Again, Rothbard, Ethics of Liberty, page 240. Hence, the appropriation of resources is an essentially individualistic asocial act. The requirements of others are either irrelevant or unknown. However, such an argument fails to take into account why the Lockean proviso has such an appeal. When we do see that, uh, when we do see that rejecting it leads to massive injustice, even slavery. However, let's start with a defense of rejecting the proviso from a leading Austrian economist. Consider the case of the unheld soul water hole in the desert, which everyone in a group of travelers knows about, which one of the travelers, by racing ahead of the others, succeeds in appropriating. This clearly and unjustly violates the Lockean Proviso for its use, however this view is by no means the only one possible. We notice that the energetic traveler who appropriated all the water was not doing anything which, always ignoring, of course, prohibitions resting on the Lockean Proviso itself, the other travelers were not equally free to do. The other travelers, too, could have raced ahead. They just did not bother to race for the water. It does not seem obvious that these other travelers can claim that they were hurt by an action which they themselves could have easily taken. This is Israel Kersner, Entrepreneurship, Entitlement, and Economic Justice, page 385 to 413 in summary, in Reading Nozick and, 40, and, and Reading Nozick in page 406. Murray Rothbard, we should note, takes a similar position in a similar example, arguing that the owner of the soul oasis is scarcely being, coer uh, scarcely being coercive. In fact, he's supplying a vital service and should have the right to refuse a sale or charge whatever the customers will pay. The situation may be unfortunate for the customers, as, uh, as are many situations in life. Again, the Ethics of Liberty, page 221. Um, Rothbard, we should note, is relying to the uh, right libertarian of uh, is 
replying to the right libertarian von Hayek, to his credit, does maintain that this is a coercive situation. But as others, including other right libertarians, point out, he has had to change his definition of coercion and freedom to do so. See Newman's Liberalism at Wit's End, pages 130 to 134 for an excellent summary of the debate. Um, now, we could be tempted just to rant about the evils of the right libertarian mind frame, and we'll try to present a, claim, uh, a calm analysis of this position instead. What Kersner and Rothbard et al. fails to note is that without the water, the other travelers will die in a matter of days. The monopolist has the power of life and death over their fellow travelers. Perhaps he hates one of them and so raced ahead to ensure their death. Perhaps he just recognized the vast power that his appropriation would give him and so correctly sees that the other travelers would give up all their possessions and property to him in return for enough water to survive. Either way. It's clear that perhaps the other travelers did not race ahead because they were ethical people. They would not desire to inflict such tyranny on others because they would not like it inflicted upon them. Thus, we can answer Kersner's question. What is so obviously acceptable uh, about the Lockean proviso? It is the means by which human actions are held accountable to social standards and ethics. It's the means by which the greediest, most evil and debased humans are stopped from dragging the rest of humanity down to their level via a race to the bottom and inflicting untold tyranny and domination on their fellow humans. Any, uh, an ideology that could consider the, oppression which, uh, consider the oppression which could result from an appropriation as supplying a vital service and any act to remove this tyranny as coercion is obviously a sick ideology. We may note that the right libertarian position on this example is a good illustration of the dangers of deductive logic from assumptions. You can see chapter 1, section 3 for more on this methodology. After, uh, after all, W. Duncan Rieke in his uh, introduction to Austrian e economics states that to be intellectually consistent, one must concede his absolute right, uh, absolute right to the oasis. Mm. Markets, Entrepreneurs, and Liberty, page 181. To place ideology before people is to ensure humanity is placed on a Procrustean bed. Which brings us to another point. Often right libertarians say that anarchists and other socialists are lazy or do not want to work. You could interpret Kersner's example as saying that the other travelers are lazy for not rushing ahead and appropriating the oasis, but this is false. For under capitalism, you can only get rich by exploiting the labor of others via wage slavery or, within a company, get better pay by taking positions of responsibility, i.e. management positions. If you have an ethical objection to treating others as objects, means to an end, then these options are unavailable to you. Thus, anarchists and other socialists are not lazy because they're not rich. They just have no desire to get rich off the labor and liberty of others as expressed in their opposition to private property and the relations of domination it creates. In other words, anarchism is not the politics of envy. It's the politics of liberty and the desire to treat others as ends in themselves. Rothbard is aware of what is involved in accepting the Lockean proviso, namely the existence of private property. Quote, Locke's proviso may lead to the outlawry of all private property of land, since one can always say that the reduction of available land leaves everyone else worse off. Again, The Ethics of Liberty, page 240. Which is why he and other right libertarians reject it. It's simple. Either you reject the proviso and embrace capitalist property rights, and so allow one class of people to be dispossessed and another empowered at their expense, or you reject private property in favor of possession and liberty. Anarchists obviously favor the latter option. As an aside, I should point out that following Stirner, the would-be monopolist, is, not, uh, is doing nothing wrong as such in attempting to monopolize the o oasis. He is, after all, following his self-interest. However, what is objectionable is the right libertarian attempt to turn this, uh, this act into a right, which must be respected by the other travelers. Simply put, if the other travelers gang up and de uh, depose of this would-be uh, tyrant, then they have the right to do so. To argue that this is a violation of the monopolist's rights is insane and an indication of a slave mentality or a following Rousseau that the others are simple. Of course, if the would-be monopolist has the necessary force to withstand the other travelers, then his property, um, then the matter is closed. Might makes right. But to worship rights, even when they obviously result in despotism, is definitely a case of spooks in the head, as Sterner would have said. And man is created for the Sabbath, not the Sabbath is created for man. 
Oh, my face you and uh, sociopaths are more anarchistic than man caps. Yep. Um, all right. What did Sweet say? You enjoy another Twitter spat that I had over the weekend with, in which someone tried to tell me that capitalism is the highest form of anarchism and Proudhon is the father of the ideology must be capitalist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, dude, my, my, my reading is off today. I was predicting, like, I was bread, bed, was fucking the words up. We'll come back to it. <clears throat> I want to try and get through this, but we'll come back to it. Um, let's see. Meme, somebody's tagging me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, cat, you deserve to see it too. Cat, 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 my cat. Cat, cat, cat. There we go. It's coming in your DM, cat. Uh, check your Discord DMs, cat. Um, <laughs> boost. Um, I'm gonna put me out of a job. Yes. Yes, me too. 100%. That's what it means. Um, all right. Give me, a, give me a second to sort of like gather my shit. I, I kind of want to keep going, but man, I'm, I'm just doing... I'm, it's rough today. It's rough. Uh, that's not why you did it, Kat. <laughs> Fuck it. Try to retcon that shit. <laughs> I see you. It's just exclamation discord, Jen. Uh, also, it's down below in, in Twitch, but exclamation discord will get it. Get it for you. Oh, it was, it was, it was Kez, Cat. Kez won't mind me tag because Kez asked me on air whether I had the fucking mental space for dealing with that bullshit today. Yeah. It's okay. They got, uh, uh, Kez got blocked by them too. I, fuck if I know Kat. Apparently they've been here before. Apparently they've been here before. That's, that's all I got. I, I don't fucking, I was like, who the fuck is this person? Um. <laughs> Jack. I'd believe it. I'd believe it. Oh, yeah, and they were picking on Zippy earlier in Kez's stream. Yeah. Getting tagged elsewhere. Jesus, what's going on? Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say... It Satan is no... Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say... It Satan is no prank, bitch. Hey! Why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch, hey, boy, Stop it, are sir. tripping balls. Um. No, Carpe. Apparently, there's somebody going around. Uh, uh, just so you know, Carpe, I'm a secret fascist. Just so you know. Um, add it to the list, man. 
added to the list. I'm, I'm a CIA agent. I work for Soros. I'm president and CEO of Antifa. I'm a Freemason. I'm a member of the Illuminati. I'm a member of the gay mafia, which is a conspiracy that dates back into prehistory. And now I'm a secret fascist as well. Just add it to the list. Just, just so you know, just so you know, just want to, just want to keep you, keep you up to date. Yeah. But don't tell anyone. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. Just keep it on the DL, man. Um, so it's in the mail. <clears throat> It'll be in the mail to, after you uh, sacrifice the goat during the next full moon. It'll be on its way. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, Interesting, Cricks. Well, say hi to them then for me. Don't. Don't. But. Um, no, no. This this person, um, apparently this person is in, like, I don't know, you probably fucking. Look, they've, I, I name checked them already. Like, we did this on air, so I don't mind. It's Cyberheart. I don't know who the fuck they are. But yeah, they're going around talking to like Kez uh, behind my back and shit or like in, in like discord somewhere or something. Um, talking about how I'm a secret fascist. I'm pretty good at it too. We went through the checklist. I'm pretty fucking good at it. Yeah. So, my face when words have sub subjective meaning is fascism, people. I, 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 like I said, I, I went off earlier. I went off on it. I was like, I read the fucking, I read the message on, on air. I was like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, hey, let's do it again. Why not? Uh, um, none of this is said to try and convince you of anything, but rather to hopefully have you understand where I'm coming from and why I don't like or trust Kai. I understand that you're close to him and likely have much different reads. So all this is just try to explain my thoughts on the matter. I've got to listen to my gut after all. I get all sorts of red flags with Kai. There's a variety of dog whistles he's used, not in his arguments, but when he's not arguing, going on about his opinions, he stated that words don't matter. They don't. I'll, I'll do the exact same routine I did when I read this the first time. They don't. What counts is your actions. At the end of the day, the words are weird mouth throat noises that we make to try and convey ideas. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. At the end of the day, you need to learn how to protect yourself against words. It's easy to do and you need to like, you can just distance yourself from them, right? Like if, if the word, it makes you uncomfortable, you can get away from the word, right? It's different than someone punching you in the side of the head on well, as walk, as you're walking down the street. It's something different than systemic racism. It's something different than a cop kneeling on your throat. It is something different. And the subjective nature of words is as far as I can tell, not up for debate, that's part of having a descriptive language. But hey, what do I know? I'm a secret fascist. Reddit is the best of humanity. The exact quote is that Reddit is the best and worst of humanity and everything in between. Twitter is the worst of humanity distilled. That is a direct quote and I stand by it 100%. Twitter is the worst of humanity distilled. I, I 100% believe that. Sorry, I stand by that quote. And he's verbally supported known fascist Count Dankula. W what, what I actually said was he's a hugely problematic individual who 50% of the time is funny. He's funny 50% of the time. I, yeah, I, what, what, what do you, what do you fucking want? the man is funny about that 50% of the time, 50% of the time it fucking lands. 
when he's not going off about some Alex Jones alt-right shit. He's funny. It, he's, you know, I, this person doesn't understand the word fascism, Caboose. Um, and he said the left should do a grift. They should. They 100% should. The left needs to be more Machiavellian. The left needs to understand the game that the right is playing. The right wins so much of the time because of that very reason. A hundred percent. I will stand by that and defend that. I will die on that hill. This is why the right moves the ball. This is how the right moves the ball. Because they're willing to do that. You can fucking, you can't, you can't eat your principles, folks. You can't inject your, your principles as an insulin substitute. It's not a thing. It's not a fucking thing. I'm sorry. There are times when you should stand by your principles and stand by your beliefs and all the way to death. Yes, those situations exist. But there's also times when achievable progress can be made and tangible good can be done in this world by just doing a wink and a nod. By running a little bit of a grift. Get over it. Get over your fucking selves. Get off your fucking high, high horse and fucking get in the trenches and do some shit. Fuck you. All of those ideas and more are ones which I either came to on my own in my 20s or had learned from the alt-right by my early 30s. All of them are things which, are used to con- which were used to convince me and others over to the alt-right. <clears throat> This is when I said this. Yeah, this is me doing an alt-right pop li- pipeline. For sure. For sure. Um, the alt-right are a bunch of fucking assholes. And don't ever go there. Don't ever align with them. They're horrible people. They're horrible people. Mutual aid, solidarity, dual power structures, free association. These, these, these are winning concepts. They're winning topics. And they make you a better person. Don't ever go to the alt-right. But again, this is me running you in an alt-right pipeline. Don't ever go to the alt-right. They are horrible, horrible people. So feel free to, feel free to understand that's me running you to the alt-right for sure, for sure. I'm sorry, but I think Kai is a secret fascist. That's what my gut says. Even his general demeanor comes off as very sus. These things on their own probably wouldn't mean anything, but they add up and match up with so many things in my lived experience. These things unnerve me greatly. I'm not the sort to try and cancel people. I'm just one person in the end, so I'm not going to go around spreading this as it's all based on gut feelings. Posted. But neither am I going to hang out in his space. I do wish him well, and I hope I'm wrong or that uh, that if I am right, he realizes his errors. So there you go, Carpe. There you go, Carpe. Just, I just want to catch you up, Carpe. Just so you know. I'm a secret fascist trying to run you in the alt-right pipeline. Just, just so you know. <laughs> so based on nothing but opposite day? Basically, I guess. I, I you know. All right, so let me show fucking sticks and stones, break bones, words are paper turds. Hey, I haven't heard that one. I like, I like Twitter and even I agree. Uh, opinions are like assholes. Let's see, Count Dango. Who the fuck is Count Dango? Oh, he's a fucking thing. He's a, he's a, a YouTuber. Also, we shouldn't imprison fine him for the pug thing. We're anarchists. Dude, the, fu- the pug thing was fucking... Re- it was fucking... Sh- I almost did it again. Dude, I already used, I already dropped the Arsler once on this stream. All right. Um, it was fucking stupid. It was fucking stupid. They put him in jail. Like they, 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 they didn't put him in jail. They fucking took him to court. They convicted him of a crime. It had to be appealed to the fucking European court on like human rights or some shit. And they did, they turned it down. Fucking that thing was stupid as shit. It was stupid as shit. The cops should never have been involved with that process. The cops should never be involved in any process. But the cops definitely shouldn't have been involved in that process. Holy fuck, man. He made his pug salute, like, do a little Nazi salute. For fuck's sake. Calm down, people. 
this this isn't a this isn't a this isn't a like a reason to get the cops involved. <laughs> Especially since the cops probably would align with it and agree with it in most instances. <clears throat> No, winning actually entails responsibility. Leftism has to be a counterculture. No, I have to be the coolest, most powerful Discord lefty for e-girl pussy. No. <laughs> of course, it's a former fascist feeling guilty. Yep. Um, left needs to be more Machiavellian. Well, that will happen the day you learn to manipulate. Forget about your SJW issues and control the subject matter. That's why progressive leftists are weak. Puritanism within the ranks. Um... Someone has way too much time on their hands. Uh, Bitwin, I don't mind fucking calling him out because we already talked about it on air. Um, some person named Cyberheart in like Kez's com like common Discord channel or some shit like that. Um, apparently, yeah, apparently I'm a secret fascist. Just FYI. So heads up. Cheers. Hmm. To fascism, I guess. Uh, speaking of, do you see Simon and Schuster is um, publishing a graphic novel about Nestor Machno? It's going to come out next year. If someone bashes a gay fascist, is it still a hate crime? Hmm. If a tree falls in the woods, look at Exol coming out with that. Wow, I've seen him in my chat. Well, bit of win. Um, you're probably hugely problematic for associating with me. You you probably should distance yourself. You you wouldn't you wouldn't also want to become a secret fascist because you know I'm using my secret fascist mind control powers on you and you didn't know it. Um. Yeah. So add it to the list. CEO and president of Antifa. Illuminati and Freemason, George Soros payroll, CIA agent, gay mafia with a conspiracy dating back to prehistory, ruining, uh, causing the downfall of civilizations, and now secret fascist. I get around. I get around. <laughs> I guess so. Well, it's been a slice. Yep. It is what it is, Bitcoin. It is what it is, man. Ah. Uh, does being a fas secret fascist conflict with being the CEO of Antifa? Yeah, no, no. I've, I've, you know, I find, I find it just, you know, being a CEO is pretty cush gig. You don't actually get your hands dirty much, so you, you know, you get, a, you get a whole bunch of side gigs going, like being a secret fascist. Yeah, it's pretty easy to do, actually. Antifa's an op. Um. Yeah, well, according to Fox News and PragerU, Antifa are the real fascists. So there you go. See? See? It all... It works. It works at the end of the day. <sighs> all right. Oh, I'm getting tagged up here. Jesus Christ. Y'all are having fun with these memes. Yeah, yeah, cats looking around. Mm. <laughs> we need McDonald's here, here, and here. Uh, more damning than the letter. <laughs> so you're a time traveling quantum crypto fascist? Yes. Oh yeah, for Tuse. There's already dude, for Tuse, there's already like our uh, hang on for Tuse. Um here's another one. All right, all right. You know what? Fuck it. You ready? You want your your fucking? Let me get get in frame here. Yeah, you know what? I'll go on fucking knees so you can get a proper. Oh, you know what? I'll go. I'll go over here so you can get a proper. All right, 
if you if you couldn't if you didn't get your screen grabs off of that for your memeing. <clears throat> and I think I just created a clip. Yeah. There should be a new clip as well. Um I should send him a fucking thank you basket. Thanks for the content. Uh, I should I should inform like the anarchist spaces I I I, I operate in as well. I should probably discount all that talk about hierarchical organizational structure and cybernetic theory and distributed uh, distributed group networking and stuff like that. I'm just, I just found out I'm a secret fascist. <laughs> It's like um, it's like getting a, a a fucking positive pregnancy test from your girlfriend or something, right? Like that's the closest I've ever I've gotten to that feeling. Like, hey, yo, just found out I'm 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 a secret fascist. Caboose, you know what to do. <laughs> what the fuck? I love centralized authoritarianism now. I'm fucking good. I'm fucking good. <clears throat> this is a self-report on stream. Yeah, apparently so. Yeah, let's just go with that. We ran the Umberto Echo checklist for fascism. Apparently, I'm like a master secret fascist. Because, like whole bunch of those I don't fucking line up with but you know it's because I'm a really good secret fascist okay. master puppeteer y'all master puppeteer anyway that's enough dunking on stupid yeah it's it does it feels good to come clean quintuple agent Kai yeah it feels it feels good to come clean you know so, so we all know only the most educated anarchists accepted. 99% of the people are the enemy. Um, yeah, I redacted. Oh, why not? Curtsy for ma oh, making you wait. Redacted. Um, yeah. There we go. Oh, fucking hell. Is that why I saw you at the Goldman Sachs offices a couple of weeks ago? Hey, Swede, why were you at the Goldman Sachs offices a couple of weeks ago? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Swede and I pass, pass by each other in the hallway of the Goldman Sachs offices and just look away. No, Kvass. At my age, they don't completely repair. <sighs> um. So y'all want to do some like uh, you want to do some Tumblr in action? Rules one and two. Don't talk about Fash Club, right? While I'm while I'm stepping in it, and I'm a secret fascist. Y'all want to do some uh, fucking Tumblr in action? For those of you who don't know Tumblr in action, this could be, this could be, this could be borderline for a few of you. All right, this 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 could be borderline for a few of you. Um, just know that. Um, to everyone in stream, yo, you were at Goldman Sachs too. Um, caboose. It kind of is. The, this one, okay, yeah, they, they complain about trans people a lot. A lot. A lot. Um, but this one caught my eye because it was actually funny. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Isn't that the desired outcome? All right? Okay. Here's what I'm talking about. Just, just read everything.
Nixa, I just did it. I just did one. You're going to have to wait a while. <laughs> right? <laughs> your doctor's going by what's in your file. I... Uh... You insisted your doctor's office, you, you insisted that you are male to your doctor's office. Your doctor is going by what you have told them and what the file says. And so when you asked for female birth control, the doctor's like, no, you don't get that. You can't get pregnant. You're a male, right? Your doctor just thinks you're stupid. You didn't tell your doctor you're trans. That's important information. Right? Like that's 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 really fucking important information. <laughs> this is this is kind of your desired outcome. You wanted to be treated like a male and you went to such a great extent to be treated like a male. Your doctor's treating you like a male, just an albeit stupid one. That's all. <laughs> Tell your doctor relevant details to your health, folks. Oh. That's fucking, that one, that one caught me. All right, like that's, that one caught me. A lot of Tumblr in action is just transphobic shit. But I was like, isn't that kind of what you were shooting for? <laughs> Turn your head and cough. Yeah, I know, right? Oh shit, there's something missing. I haven't had a turn your head and cough since I was a teenager, Carpe. Has any of the older dudes in here had a turn your head and cough since you were like out of your teen years? I haven't had one in years. Cupcake has. Lately, yes, because I've had a hernia before. <laughs> About a decade ago. It's always looked deep in the mud. <laughs> oh, for twos. When you turned 40, yes. All right. Six years ago. It's been a minute, yeah. Nice Buddhist. Nice. <laughs> Caboose, I had to turn your head and cough and when I was getting diagnosed for autism in 2005 and I farted when I coughed. Aspen asked, so is that a pass or no? Cat, no, I did not. Should have you driving a tank. I'm sure, uh, dude, dude Krusty, yeah, it's a meme right now. Um, so there will be more. Don't worry. Um, I don't know how long you've been in here, Krusty, but here's me at a meeting. Okay, cool. Um, and then there was the, of course, the inevitable fucking Among Us. I look forward to the rest. Um, Kat, feel free to jump on air if you're near a computer and just tell me about it. Um, also, all right, I promised you guys a D-Gen story time. So. Uh, I don't know, some fucking, I don't know, I think it's a video game developer or something, Rev. Not sure. Um, 
someone photoshopped Kai onto all of the Agent Smiths in that massive fight scene in Matrix 2. <laughs> oh. All right. All right, so Saturday rolls around. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me let me give you a short one, and then I'll um, I'll give you I'll give you Saturday. Um, Twitch politics official. Thanks for the follow. Um, so I'll give you a short one. Um, so Wednesday night, Wednesday night, um, if you guys remember the, um, thank you. If you guys remember the, um, the, the dude I hooked up with who was, who recently came out of the closet like a year or two ago. And I told you about like how his 18 year old told him that, you know, the, the strongest man I know and that sort of shit. Right. <clears throat> Super wholesome. He, he contacted, um, he sent me a message, um, saying he wanted to learn how to bottom. So I fucking arranged for him to come over. Um, he had unreasonably high expectations. Um, he, um, did not know what to expect. We were going to do it Sunday. And he uh, was like, well, I have to be out of there by 1130. I'm like, bro, you're putting time frames on shit. I'm like, he's like, well, what all, what was it, what does it entail? And I fucking sent him that. And he's like, calm down, Civic. Um, He's like, I didn't even think about the cleaning out part. Uh, Cal Poker, 18 plus stream. If you're not 18, get the fuck out. Um, so, <clears throat> comes over. And... You're going to have to hold on to that question. It's DJ and story time. Um, he comes over and we get to talking and I tell him, I'm going to treat this like an academic exercise. Um, this is going to be like a lesson that I wish somebody had given me when I was younger. Like I, I, I wish somebody had sat me down and told me this, um, to like given me this information. Right. And so I condensed down a whole bunch of knowledge to like how, um, how bottoming functions, the gastrointestinal processes, the mapping of the, uh, lower, uh, lower intestines, how it follows up from the rectum, the ascending, the transverse, the descending, uh, or the descending transverse ascending. And these sorts of things. And I said, this is going to get weird and uncomfortable. Um, and like, it's going to get, <clears throat> it's going to get a little strange for you. He's like, yeah, I, I suspect it. I'm like, okay. So I, um, I was like, so, you know, I, I explained a whole bunch of stuff to him. I, I said about muscle control, these sorts of things, X, Y, and Z. Right. I'm like, all right, are you ready? It's like, um, I guess I'm like, okay, so let's start the clean out. So I have a shower shot in the guest and guest shower as well. Um, and I was like, all right, you're, you're going to clean out. Like I explained the process of a moderate clean, a, 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 a quick clean, a moderate clean, a deep clean, these sorts of things. I told him the process and I was like, look, I don't know how weirded out you're going to be by this. I can be near this door. I can be outside this room. I said, but you're going to have to either time it yourself or you're going to have to do it. You know, you're going to have to rely on me. He's like, uh, just, you just time it for me. So up goes the hose process, process, process. 
at a certain point, he looks at me um, during this process of cleaning out. He goes, I, I have to ask you a question. I'm like, all right, ask. He said, I'm nervous. I'm like, okay. I'm like, you've had your dick in me before, man. Right? Like, like I've, like my mouth has been on your junk. You've had your dick in me. And now I've watched you basically go to the bathroom. What could you be nervous to ask me? Right? <sighs> he looks at me and goes, do you mind if I do a line? I'm like, of? I'm not kidding you. He's down here with it. He just... Uh-huh. I'm like, of what? L- lady. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Say it. Say the word. Say the fucking word. Pa- no. Some sense is already already there. I'm like, methamphetamine, crystal, Tina, T. This is what you're attempting to ask me whether you can do a line of, right? He's already fucking doing it. He's been in the Las Vegas gay scene for a couple of months. They've already got him on the fucking trail. They've already got him on that train. I'm like, holy shit, man. Didn't I fucking warn you about this shit? Didn't I fucking warn you about this shit? I seem to recall warning him about this shit. Las Vegas gay scene, man. It's full of fucking meth. It's full of fucking meth. I was like, God damn, man. Didn't I just warn you about this shit? I'm like, here's your one. He's like, what? I said, here's your one. He said, I understand this is a new process to you, and I'm, wo- I'm willing to be non-judgmental and make allowances. He said, but the fact of the matter is, is if you ever bring that shit into my house again, we're going to have issues. He's like, all right. Uh, well, Cal Poker, that's kind of a po- an apocryphal story. She, she, he, he, that person doesn't identify as trans. That's, that's an external association, but I'm not, I'm not going to get into this shit. I'm not going to get into this shit. <clears throat> so does it, uh, and he, he basically pulls out his wallet and starts digging through it. And I'm like, let me see it. He's like, what? I'm like, give it. Let me see it. And I'm like, this shit has not changed in fucking ages. Squid, I am not, but thank you anyway. I'm like, this shit has not changed in a fucking, like, 15 years, right? Um, Same fucking shitty baggies. Same fucking ink that's, like, peeling off the front. It's amazing. Some things just never change. Um, Looked like it had been stepped on, just saying. Um, He does his thing. He gets back to it. I'm like, all right, so keep cleaning. Fucking, he fucking, um, he fucking, it keeps cleaning and eventually I'm like, is it flowing clean yet? Right. We fucking, so long story short, like I want to wrap up this section because this section doesn't fucking, it it just fucking doesn't interest me. All right. Get some toys up and get him used to the feeling. He is the definition of tight. My smallest toy. Caused him pain. I was like, Jesus Christ, man. I'm like, you're not going to be bottoming anytime soon. He's like, well, the one time I've, you know, the one time I've done it, it really did. Like, it hurt. Like, the guy said, holy shit, you're tight. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, you need to work on this, man. I've never known anybody to fucking fly that airline, so to say. And still, right? So as a sort of performative reward I get a little for a while. Um, 
and move on with my life. Eventually it gets to the point where I kick him to the curb and call it. Right. That was Wednesday. Saturday. This is the story you want. This this line of inquiry in chat right now is boring me. Um Saturday rolls around and So my dom contacts me and says that he's got a whole bunch of work to do. He's got paperwork he needs to file. He needs to, he, he has to fill it out. He's got just a shit ton of work to do. Right. And so he says, um, I want you to come over. She said, I just want you to be present. I just want you to be, I want you in the office. Which, as anybody knows, um, what is fucking going on here? Oh. Um, as anybody knows, like anybody who's been following, um, walk in the house, strip, lock the door, right? Um, so I get there and follow directions. He sends me a text right before I get there. And he says that, um, announce yourself. I'll be upstairs in the office. Right. So I walk in here, sir. He comes, uh, he, <clears throat> I wait at the base of the steps. He comes down. I see what's laid out for me. Um, it's the collar and ankle and wrist cuffs, right? So that, um, those get put on, right? Cuffs, collar, upstairs we go. I had asked him prior to going over whether I could bring some, like bring a tablet and bring some like work myself. So he's like, yeah, that's fine. So I go upstairs into his office. It's the first time I've been in his office. Um, and he's got two computers. He's got his work computer on one wall. He's got his personal computer, which is a fucking iMac fucking, I don't know what they call them these days, but it's, it's one of the large screen fucking Apple computers, right? <clears throat> um, so... He, um, he says, you know, I don't, I don't know where you want to be. Um, he's like, but you know, you can use that desk if you want. And I'm, I notice in the corner, there's like, um, like a dresser of sorts that is right about arm, uh, like chest high. Right. So I can, um, fucking, yeah, well, I'm older than that. So that's fine. Um, and given I'm tired and in pain, I'm, su yeah. Um, so I'm like, I, he's, I'm like, I prefer to, to write standing up. Um, and so he's like, all right, you know, and so I close it up and fucking he cleans some stuff off for me and I put my tablet up there and I put my keyboard up there and I get some of the books up there and a pen and, you know, a highlighter and I go to work. Right. And so there I am standing there, um, buck ass naked with a collar, wrist cuffs and ankle cuffs on, um, 
while I stand there next to my dom and fucking work. All right. You are literally interrupting DGen story time. I can't even maintain my fucking thought process. The entire fucking conversation about this fucking line of a train of thought and this entire dialogue in chat ends now. It ends now. The next person to reply about it, I do not give a shit. The next person to reply about it gets gets fucking timed out. All right? Shut the fuck up about it. I don't care which side of the argument you're on in this one. Shut the fuck up about it. Please and thank you. You've had multiple requests from chat. You've had multiple people say, not right now. Not right now. Shut the fuck up about it. You got me? Good. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey everybody, we're going to do D uh, we're going to do DJ and story time. Oh yay, great. And fucking derail. All of you shut the fuck. I don't even want to hear sorries. Just shut the fuck up. Cool? We good? Jesus, goddamn Christ. Y'all gonna fucking test my patience today. There's your fucking request filled. Timed out. Shut the fuck up. You're lucky it wasn't a ban. Read the fucking room or get the fuck out. Jesus fucking Christ. This is why we can't have nice things. Basically. Basically. It's gonna be a, this is going to be a great recording for DJ and Storytime. The whole fucking time I'm doing it, there's like transphobic bullshit and then infighting happening the whole time in fucking chat. Kai is barely able to tell the story because I'm so fucking distracted by what's going on over here. My throat hurts. My fucking feet hurt. My fucking hands hurt. I've already put up with fucking being called a secret fascist today. This is going to be a great DJ and story time for the fucking records. Yeah, I, I look forward to uploading this VOD. This will be great. Good job. Anyway. Jesus fucking Christ. Nah, I canceled it. I'm not uploading that shit show. I'm not uploading a whole bunch of fucking transphobic bullshit. I'm not uploading a whole bunch of fucking crap. Look, it'll be in the full fucking VOD. This, this episode right here, this is all going in the full archival upload for sure. But the DJ and story time clip, nah. Yeah, no, this doesn't need to be uploaded like that. <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that's, that's trash. That's trash. That's shit storytelling. That's shit content. The power of editing, you know, right? Fucking A. And you know, while I'm at it, where's that other idiot?
Hey, non-binary. Good call littering is bad. Yeah. Let's look at the memes. Let's look at the memes. Usually they're way better behaved than that fucking caboose. Secret fascist. No, I literally unbanned you just so I could do this. Just so I could do that. I was literally hoping you were still here. Just so you would speak up about my fucking hands again. Just so I could ban you. That is literally why I removed your timeout. Just so you'd fucking run your mouth off again. I was hoping you'd do it. Just so I could ban you. Yeah. It's weird. It's creepy. Your obsession with my hands is borderline fucking Tarantino with feet shit. It's weird, man. Fucking go jerk off to somebody else's hands. You're not going to get to jerk off to mine. It's fucking weird as shit, man. called that band when they were untimed. Oh yeah. Yeah, I literally that's it was just bait. It was just bait. <laughs> you need some high heels so you can put your hands in them for the quasi feet people. Oh. I'm still for it. Sometimes I'm reminded how fucking wild the internet really is. I no do you, why why are you putting a pronunciation guide on Glasgow? Are there motherfuckers walking around that will is like say Glasgow or something? I'm confused, non-binary. What, 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 why, why is there, why is there a pronunciation guide being put on, put, put on the word, put, put on the word Glasgow? Who doesn't know how to say, like, the city in Scotland's name? Probably Zippy. Glass how? I've never heard an American say glass how. I've never heard it. Oh, Glasgow on CNN. Oh. <laughs> Who doesn't know how to pronounce Glasgow? I even know they're called Glaswegians. <laughs> I even know how to say Edinburgh. All right? Like, I can, I can pronounce Edinburgh. Like, I'm not fucking pronounce... And no, I don't know what's happening there. 
No, I don't know what's happening there. Clear mail. <laughs> what's the? Uh, it was the best of Shires. It was the worst of Shires. <laughs> All right. That was painful, but it was good for twos. Oh, I love Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Sorry, Edinburgh. Oh. Ike Glass. I mean, well, that's just fucking gibberish. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> Alright. Collaboration with housing protest Arnhem cancelled. Recently we were told that ROD is involved in the Arnhem housing protest. ROD is given a stage to Vosh through a stream who has often said racist, trans hating, and validistic things. Oh. Red has not canceled this stream despite criticism. It's received from its marginalized supporters. Feminists against ableism do not want to work with people who give these forms of hatred a stage and therefore have decided, decided that Hazar will not speak this afternoon. At the Arm, uh, Arnhem housing protest, a more extensive statement will follow. All right. Uh, I think not posting that in English was ableist. I wasn't able to read it. That that was that was that was racist against uh, monolinguistic people. I mean, speak a smattering of Spanish. Um. Anyway, cancel shit because of Vosh. Yeah, apparently they canceled a housing protest or something because of Vosh. Is the world on crack today? Non-binary. Look, I can speak, I can do Spanish and English. If you can't meet me, like, through one of those, yeah. Um... When is the world not on crack? Yes, it got a great deal on the crack. It's a lot. Oh, carpe. It's been an off day for me as well. Um, was it not on? Yeah. Um, I mean, that was Dutch. Look, I think on the best of days, we can agree Dutch doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Where's a Ramsey? We've, we've got somebody from the Netherlands in community. Come on. It's, it's, it, uh, I can't be expected to speak Dutch. That's, that's not a thing. I will not be learning Dutch. <laughs> I will not be fucking, yeah. No, that's, that's, mm -mm. sorry. The Dutch have saved me loads of cash. Ah. <sighs> Don't they speak what their neighbors tell them to? Basically. Um, dude, they're dude, the Dutch are super multilingual territory. <laughs> uh cool. 
I mean, people tell me it is Puka, but I don't believe them. All right. <clears throat> you want to give this another try? <laughs> the only thing I remember is Yo soy la leche. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, <sighs> ow, Got a cut on my hand. I just hit it on the edge of the desk, and now it hurts again. Um, um yeah. Scene one, take two. Um, no, 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 Zippy. That doesn't say um, that that Buddhist wants to be milked. It boot that says I am the milk. Yeah, yo soy la leche, la leche would be I am the milk. <laughs> so. Interpret that as you will. Zippy. I got no interpretation, interpretive skills at this point. Look, Zippy, after what I've been through today already on this stream, I'm taking nothing for granted. I don't know if I, 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 I won't remember tomorrow that you speak Spanish fluently. Just know that. Um, I can still do gloves. <laughs> oh, well, I've still got my left. Dude, that, that was creepy as shit. I'm sorry. That dude was rubbing one to my hands. That dude was rubbing one to my hands. That was weird. That was weird. Um. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Bebe se leche del toro. Del toro. Um. Yeah, Jay, like, I, I'm trying to... Yes, it does, Puka. It does. I count it. Um, I'm trying to find the vibe. I'm trying to find the vibe. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Zippy's just doing it out of spite now. Um... All right, I'm going to skip Wednesday. I'm going to skip the fucking tweaker. All right. Uh, the music doesn't usually get played when I'm telling a story. But. <laughs> no, Deanna's so bad. Um, baby. Vibe? Would it be? I mean, vibe, I know would be, but. Because it's an import, but. Vibe? In, in, in language? Um. No, Karina, not at all. Had nothing to do with it. Um, nope. Y'all still trying to figure that one out. Nope. And I'm still not over it, so. Um, would be vibe, and there's plenty of sp times when Spanglish, Spanglish is a thing. I mean, Spanglish is a thing. Um... No, I'm just going to skip it because it's a shit story. Um, all right. It doesn't help I'm tired. It does not help that I'm tired. You know what? Give me a second.
Not, I don't want to talk about Zippy. Um, all right, B12. Hmm, nice, Axel. Sounds good. Um, it's not GST yet, and that doesn't count as a fucking proper interruption. Um, Um, all right. Let's try, we'll try number two on this one. Um, hello, dude. <laughs> try number two. Oh. We'll see if we can, um, not be a bunch of shitheads in chat. Um, and then maybe, maybe we can do this story. Oh, hang on. Um, mm, I'm sorry you had a I'm sorry you had a bad weekend. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus, Zippy. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what kind of cheese is your brain made out of? Fuck it. Take a little sip. Uh, hecho, uh, hecho de queso no muy. Del mu. Um, what kind of cheese is it made out of? Is it just a, a fresco? Um, Cricks, uh, consensus decision making does actually require everybody, not the, di uh, not the dictionary definition of consensus, but actual consensus decision making is what we were going by. So there you go. Swiss. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I mean, tech support, the rate I'm going, I'll be done as soon as this fucking story is done. Um, I mean, but I'll leave a tab open for it. <sighs> All right. I think we need music for this. I don't know. I don't know what I need, Karina. I, I need my body not to be falling apart on me is what I need. Um, But that's not going to happen, so I'm just kind of fucked on that front. Um... All right. <clears throat> All right. So Saturday rolls around. And fucking Dom contacts me and says that he's had a rough goal of it. He's got a ton of fucking paperwork to do. And he wants me over there for like a fixture in the room, basically, right? He, um, at the end of the day, basically, he just wants someone present. He wants, uh, someone to be in the room with him and, you know, someone worth looking at, apparently. Um, so, per, per previous arrangement, arrival, door will be open, announce myself, he'll be upstairs, and, um, you know, walk in, strip, lock the door, lock, walk in, lock the door, strip, um, and I walk in and on the ottoman laid out is the, um, the collar and the wrist and ankle cuffs, right? 
here, sir. And I waited attention at the, the base of the stairs uh, while he comes down. Um, um, he, you know, he does me up. And I had asked him prior to that, since you're going to be doing work, can I bring my tablet and some stuff to work on myself? He's like, sure. So I have my, you know, my, my carrier bag. Um, the cuffs are not fuzzy goofy. The, the, the collar is faux fur lined. The cuffs are just high quality leather. They're padded leather, but they're, they're leather. Um, that's all the cuffs are. They're just straight up leather. Um, so I grab my bag. He said, you know, do you have your stuff? I grab my bag. We go upstairs to his office. <clears throat> First time I've been in his office. And he's got his workstation separated. He's got his work computer. Um, and he's got his personal computer. Fucking Apple shit, right? Um, one of the big fucking iMac things. I don't know. You know, he's, and he, he offers, he's like, you can sit at that desk if you want. I'm just going to be over here working on paperwork. And I won't get into it because it's personal. But he's, it's, it's not work paperwork. Let's just put it that way. And it's, it's weighing heavily on him. Um, having to do this and a couple of other things. Um, so I, um, I, I, I survey the room and I don't, I don't like sitting when I'm, when I'm writing, right? It's not a thing I like to do. I like to stand when I write. Um, I usually go out into my garage at like my, my workbench and I just stand in the garage with the garage doors open and write. So I, um, I noticed that he's got like a, a sort of dresser um, in uh, in the corner, and he um, it, it's it's like a credenza. It's got like the fold down desk sort of situation, and I um, I noticed that like it, it's it's the proper height for me to like type at standing up. And so I'm like, actually, I prefer to stand up, sir. I I, I stand when I write. Um, I was like, I was thinking right there. He's like, oh, okay. I'm like, I, I can clean it off, sir. He's like, no, I, I, I know where I want to put the stuff. Understood, sir. He cleans off. You know, there's a lamp there. And I set up my tablet. I set up my portable keyboard. Um, and the, um, you know, I, I have some books and, um, you know, a pen and a highlighter and stuff right that you know? And... <clears throat> we start working. Um, I have a picture of it. It's hilarious. I, I, I legitimately think, um, um, I, I, I thought it was funny. I thought it was amusing. I thought it was cute. I thought it was an exemplar. Um, it was a perfect example of what it means to be a sub. Yeah, some days you wear a fucking butt plug and you're you're you know in a cock cage and you're 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 sucking dick all day, right? Other days, you stand next to your dom while he does work in his office and you just be present, right? Like that's that's you know, um, the nature of the work he was doing was of a sort that I have familial experience with. Um, so he had the occasional question. He was like, what's your opinion on this? What, what, what about this wording? Right. How do you feel about this? And those sort of things. Right. And so, you know, I'm just channeling the knowledge that I have about that sort of stuff from family. And, you know, whenever you ask questions, me personally, I was finally writing the the um, origins of and problems with modern policing essay. Um, I, I turned that it's published on the website. Um, I I added some stuff that isn't in the, the podcast originally or the episodes I've done on it since um, I included a section on um, qualified immunity and um, the drug war. Um in reverse order. Um, so <clears throat> that's what I was uh, what I was doing during this. But I mean, if you had a video camera in the in the room in the office, there's him sitting at his desk 
doing like legal paperwork and printing out photos and creating PDFs and shit like that. And there's me standing next to him in like in the corner, buck ass naked with leather and uh, leather ankle and wrist cuffs and collared. Right. So this is, this is how like a good portion of the night proceeds. This is, this is what we do. I got there around 745, 750, something like that. Um, and we spent a couple hours, couple few hours, um, just doing that and going back and forth. Um, he finished up before I did. And he, you know, of course, was asking what I was working on. And, you know, pay, he had an interest in me as well. Um, and, you know, like, what are you doing? Um, so he said, you know, for, he initially asked, of course, um, that, like, you know, I thought you didn't work on weekends. I said, I don't. Um, but you're working. So I'm working. It's that simple, sir. Right? So... I'm typing, I'm researching, I'm typing, I'm researching, you know, and he finishes up and, we, you know, we back and forth a few times during this. And he was like, well, you know, I, I was like, he asked, how much more do you have? And I said, I have two sections to do. I, well, technically three. I have the war on drugs. I have the qualified immunity. And then I have a summary. I got to tie this together somehow. Um, so... He's like, all right, well, you finish up. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to go do some stuff. So I hear him down in the kitchen and I can hear the cabinets. And eventually he comes back upstairs and he's got a drink. Uh, what are we drinking tonight, sir? Just in case I have to refill the drink, right? Scotch and water. Scotch and water. Um, so... He's, a, you know, at this point, I, I, at one point in this, I laid down with my cell phone because the, uh, the Apple devices can copy and paste to each other, right? So I'm, I'm researching some stuff on qualified immunity on my cell phone and I just lay down to decompress the spine for a bit. And of course, you know, I'm laying proper, right? Like nothing's closed off. It's almost like I'd be tied to a bed or something like that. Everything's open and that sort of thing. And he's, you know, amusing himself, uh, as it were, um, and he's working his way through that drink. Uh, <laughs> and I finally finish up. He, he gets up and leaves a couple of times. And I finally finish up. And I pack everything up and take it downstairs and put it on the couch where my stuff goes. Um, and... He's, he's got the um, massage table set up in his room again. I've created an expectation. I've, I've created a, a situation in which there is now an expectation. Um, is what it is. Um, years of... Years of massages by professionals from all over the globe are paying off in different ways now. I know how to give a professional massage. I'm very good at it. Um, and since I am in sub-brain, um, somewhat, somewhat, keep in mind, I've, I've been writing the origins of and problems with modern policing, right? Um, when we were in the office, he asked me, I, I, I chuckled. I, I can't tell you the joke because it would give away some information about him. But I chuckled and he, I was like, and I shared a piece of what was going on in my writing. And I said, it, it aligned with him in a very real way. And so I explained the first part of this, the, the narrative that I'm drawing. So he's already involved partly in what was going on. Uh, no, Goofy. No, this isn't subspace. Subspace is something else entirely. 
And as you may have been a professional dom, but I'm as damn close to a professional sub as you can fucking get without turning tricks. We're not talking about subspace here. We're talking about sub brain. We're talking about the, the switch that goes off in a sub's brain when they become submissive, not the altered state of consciousness that is the, uh, the uh, disassociative state that is subspace. Different things. See? Um, <clears throat> so, but I'm, I'm one foot in, one foot out, right? Because we've, we've had to talk about politics. Um, and so he was, when we were doing Friday's stream and that fucking idiot came at me with the cop shit and we we're like, let's do the, the cop essay, right? Let's, let's do the cop essay. Um, he was texting me at that time. If you go back to the VOD, you can see that I pick up the phone around that time. And, like, I'm responding to him because if he texts, I respond, right? Um, so, he was asking me, and he's like, well, tell me more. Tell me about it. What was the... Um, Uh, what was what was the topic? How are you discussing it? Like, what's 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 the, you know? So I told him the story of the origins of and problems with modern policing. I I told him it. I did the 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 spiel. I basically and I told I basically read him the essay, but from memory, right? Um. And then he wanted to know how the stream went. He wanted to know how bad movie night went. Um. He, you know, he wanted to know about what movies we watched and because he hates bad movies, by the way, he hates bad movies. He, he just, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Um, but by this point he hit, he was one scotch and water in and a second one on the dresser. Right. So I'm just massaging him. Right. I'm going to fucking town. I'm doing the thing. Um, and you're just working him over and telling him stuff, right? Just explaining. It's sort of difficult, though, for me, right? Because he's making me straddle two worlds. He's making me do the activism. He's making me do the political stuff. Um, but I'm also having to be servile at the same time, which is... Those two portions of my brain are in direct conflict with one another. Um, so, eventually, I wrap up the storytelling. I finish up all of that sort of stuff, and I, I, I get to start getting into the massage. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm working his body now. Right? Like, it's, it's becoming m more. And at one point, he says through his, like, stupor, he says, don't be afraid to uh, make it a little more sensual, boy. All right, duly noted, but, you know, not this second. Um, right? Like, you don't give in that quickly that easily, right? So I, I keep doing the professional massage gig. Um I get, did do a little boop in the area of uh, general balls. I just boop because he's he's on his face at this point, right? Um, but I keep doing the, the work. Um, Goofy, you need to go back and listen to all of the, the DSTs involving this. I have speed run this relationship, like, right? Like I have, I, I've, I've used every tool in my arsenal. Um, I know what I'm doing. Um, so he's putty in my hands. When I've got him on the massage table, he's putty in my hands. Um, and so I'm, you know, working just the whole thing. Head, neck, shoulders, arms, fucking torso, ass, thighs, calves, ankles, feet, right? Flip. It's time to turn over, sir. Already? Yeah, it's already been an hour, right? One side, one hour. 
All right. It's already been a fucking hour. All right. You've like, yeah, it's time to flip. <clears throat> so get him to flip over. Reset. As I'm resetting from the feet to the head, I stop by the midsection and just give a passing lick. Just, just on my way through. That. Now we're there. Now I'm not having to talk about politics. Now I'm not having to do analytics. Now I'm not having to do history. And now I got dick. Right? Just just on the way through. Just a quick lick. Um just to get him just to get him aware that the tone has changed. Right? Start over. Head holding the head, suspending, supporting, you know, scalp, temples, jaw, down, traps, the run, underneath, get underneath, suspend the arm, down, down, delts, down to the pecs, the fucking, like, I'm just literally doing the run, like, right? I'm doing everything. As I work down the, the torso, get into the midsection, working the, where uh, the ball and hip, the socket, right? I'm, I'm working that. I'm getting that going. And as, yeah, <laughs> fucking, I'm, I'm a good one. Um, I decide that I'm going to do a little something, right? Like this is, this is, I'm sort of, you know, as I go down his right, uh, his, his left side, when I hit that ball and socket at the waist, right? And I start working the thigh. As I'm doing the, the sort of the run on the thighs and really like getting the sort of stretch of the muscle going and working the sort of myofascial re- release on it. I lean in and without hands leaving the thigh, I post up and I put it at my midsection so I can continue to work the thigh in the midsection without using my hand. I get it in my mouth. So that's all tongue action. That's 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 a, a lift and a pick just with the tongue. And then you get it in your mouth. And so just 45 seconds to 60 seconds. Just, 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 just to let you know I'm here. You know, just, just to let you know we're in the department. Um... And he moans, right? Like right out of the gate. I get a fucking, like a groan out of him. It's like, all right. All right. Just, just work in the thigh, work, work in the mouth, work in the thigh, work in the mouth, work in the thigh, work in the mouth. 45, 60 seconds on the outside. And then I, I back off and I go back to work in the thigh and down the knee and down the leg and suspend the leg and get down to the foot. And I can fucking now like with him, that way I can put his foot up against me and get some tension in the leg and really work it that way and get some compression on it. <clears throat> you know, work that. And then I go back up, do a little bit more at the neck, work down the other side, down that rib cage, down to that hip, down his right, uh, down his right side. And when I hit that side again, I repeat the process. When I get into that area, I literally duplicate my actions. So another 45, 60 seconds. Just to liven it up, right? But I prefer him to focus on the massage at this point, right? I want him to enjoy the massage. I know he wants more than the massage. That's fine. I'll liven the massage up, but I'll get him more right that's i can do that after so just to spice it up a little bit and then i continue on my way wrap it up do the feet that sort of thing and as i finish up i know he based on how he touches me he likes light touch play so i start doing that just grazing him all over his body just just 
sort of relaxing it after all of that like overstimulation from the massage. And as I do this, I sort of work in a, a circle, but from the uh, from the his left side around. And when I end up back on that same area on his right side, I'm posted up. I lean in and I start to go to work. Now I'm done with the massage. Now I'm done with the touch play. Now it's time to go to fucking work. So I start. Now I know he's one drink in. He's had a rough time of it. His head is elsewhere. I've got him super fucking relaxed from the massage. So I'm not expecting much. I'm not, I'm not even expecting a hard on at this point. Right? Like, this dude ain't eight, this is, this ain't some 18 year old, right? You do this to an 18 year old like that, but he's not an 18 year old. So you have to manage your expectations accordingly, right? Yeah, well, <clears throat> within a couple, of, like within a little bit, solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. So not like the first massage. He's he's engaged. He's engaged. Um, all right. Now it's time to go to work. This is, this is, this is what you do, right? So I'm on the side of the bed or the side of the massage table, right? Um, his right side and leaned over. And so like I'm, I'm perpendicular to him, right? So it's a very interesting angle to be in. I worked that angle for roughly probably 18 to 20 minutes. It was at that time that I decided he has told me this table is strong. He has told me explicitly that it can easily support both of our weight. Okay. Time to test his claims. Huh. On the table. Um, close to a more traditional um, 69 position. But not. I'm further down. In fact, I've got my forearms posted up in between his legs, literally just working the shoulders basically at this point. Like literally my arms are taking full suspension of my like weight. Um, I worked that position for another 20 minutes. He... Towards the end of that 20 minutes, um, he says to me, back up. Now, I'm not entirely sure what he means, but I just sort of like, you know, adjust. He's like, no, 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 further, further. All right, now arch I am now receiving some attention um I'm getting my own bit of tongue bathing going on uh yeah So, all right, I wasn't expecting this tonight. I was expecting more service than anything else. But hey, a little a little attention from someone's tongue never um, <clears throat> never turn it down, 
right? I continue working. At a certain point, uh, no wither. No. Um, my junk, as you would say, will never see his mouth. It was something else. You can put it together. You're a big boy. Um, my shoulders and arms and back couldn't really suspend me anymore. So I kind of, uh, and flipped around and got between his legs straight up, just like got between his legs and like on just like on my knees, right? Like just sort of like I'm now crouching for all intents and purposes. I'm, I'm like huddled up in his fuck, like between his legs. Right. Um, and now I'm, I'm just working it. I'm just working it. All right. It's at this point that I literally asked him for tips. I'm like, what do I need to do, sir? Tell me. Like, give me specific directions here. Because I know you're enjoying it. But, and I know by multiple ways. Let's just say that you can um, <clears throat> taste the enjoyment. Um, so what do I need to do? Right? Like, what? what's what's the, the key to the lock? Because I'm determined. We're 45 minutes in at this point. I've been blowing this dude for 45 minutes. And I know this because there's a clock right there. I've been watching the time. I know how long it's been. I know how long this massage was. I know how long the blowjob was. I watched the time go from time to time, right? It wasn't like I'm watching the fucking clock, but every time that I would, like, you know, open my eyes and blink the contacts back into place, yeah, you fucking notice. You're like, oh, shit, right? So he gives me some specific directions, and I follow those paths, right? Okay, slow and gentle. Slow and gentle, slow and gentle. Don't, don't go all the way down. Don't go all the way down to a deep throat, but like go most of the way. And then, oh yes, with the top. Yes, with the top. All right. All right. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring out what he fucking, what he likes, what he prefers, what works for him. Um, so 50 minutes in, 50 minutes in, he says, I may have to help you. I may have to help him finish off. Okay. That's admitting defeat, but give me another five. 55 minutes in. <sighs> All right, sir. You want to help me finish him off? He starts working. He spends another 10 minutes with porn even. Turn some porn on can't get himself there he says i just have too much shit on my mind he says you can see it's not you it is me he said i just can't get my head past it he said this is killing me he said i'm gonna be up with this all night I'm like that's rough so i while he attempts i'm just hanging out in the region as it were He, <clears throat> he eventually gives up. It is at that time that I hop down and stretch my legs and stretch my back because I've been in some very awkward positions for quite some time now. I spent 55 minutes blowing him. I spent two hours giving him a professional grade massage. I picked his now mostly melted uh, ice cube scotch and water off the table uh, off of his cell phone which had a case on on his his dresser 
And he was like, oh, I forgot about that. Is it okay? I'm like, it's okay, sir. No, none got on the, the wood. It's all on the cell phone case. Um, I hand him that, and I start giggling. He's like, what now? I said, usually when a masseuse tells you to hydrate after a massage, they don't mean scotch and water. He, said, he says, well, that's on you. You didn't tell me otherwise, and you handed me the scotch and water. So he gave me a playful slap, up the, uh, slap on the ass. Mm. All right. I'm like, you know, he's the water's right over there. You could have handed me that. So I grabbed his water bottle and put that in his hands and took the took the scotch and water out of his hands. And he he drank some water. And he um was feeling sort of touchy feely at that point, right? He's got a fair amount of liquor in him, a fairly a fair amount of altered uh chem- brain chemistry due to the fact that he uh has just had a two-hour massage and a almost hour-long blowjob. So you can say that, you know, dopamine and serotonin are definitely at play right now. So he just sort of, like, envelops me and, like, pulls me in at this point. And, um, oh, I forgot. The, the, the wrists aren't on anymore. The cuffs. Because I have to be able to... And I didn't want to fuck up the, 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 you know, the leather with the massage oil. Um, he pulls me in and just sort of like envelops me a little bit. And like, I, I literally, the way he's got it, like he did it, I just sort of had to stand there. Like there, this was not a hug. This is basically you just being grasped. So it's just sort of like, you're just there for it. Um, he says, get on the table, get at the end of the table. I'm like, okay, I don't know exactly what you mean, sir, but I hopped up on the table and he um he said get at the end legs up ah okay i know where this is headed so ass extended a little over the end of the massage table legs up and over i know what's about to happen here um and he does he starts going to town on me right just going to fucking town um there are some explicit compliments that I won't repeat. Uh, if, this were, if this were an only fan stream, I'd just tell you outright, but there were, there were some very explicit things and they were complimentary. Um, when he was done, um, he said, next time, remind me to get the rim chair set up. And I, I, I chuckled and, and I said, sure. He goes, I'm serious. Remind me. Okay. Yes, sir. Duly noted. He's got one of those too. Of course he does. Of course he does. Um, I, when we were finishing that little act... I put my legs, like my knees, my legs over his shoulders and sort of arched my back. Because that's a rough position to be in, actually. That folded over that much. It's, dude, that, that, that's, you know, you need to stretch it out. Right? And I just sort of, you know, like literally using him as like a, a post to work off of, working my back out a little bit. And he's just enjoying this, um this view this this moment and i looked at him and i said can i make a request sir he goes sure yeah boy what now plus five chi points for anybody who can actually guess what kai's request was and remember like all fake internet points they're absolutely worthless
wither weed. Caboose got nothing. Come on, there's a couple of proper degens in here. I want to see some swings. Some sense is at least fucking striking properly. Some sense is headed in the right direction. Read the name of his first pet the street he grew up on. Caboose. No, but you're at least Puka, a puppy. It would be more like treat me as a puppy in this regard. I asked to be flogged. Two of you went for the leash. I asked to be flogged. Yep. He was caught off guard too. Um, he did not expect that. He did not see that one coming. He said, oh, well, I didn't, I didn't expect that request. It's like, all right, get on the table, get in your face. I'll get the flog. Two rounds, two rounds. He went to town. He went to town, y'all. Two rounds. Um, I was feeling it. I was feeling it. Um, he worked me from shoulder to feet, like literally shoulders to feet, the, the whole nine yards. Um, some sense, some sense actually gets it. Some sense was way closer than anybody like, yeah. Flogging is just an alternative, uh, alternative massage. They use fucking birch branches and fucking like sticks and leaves in a banya and whip the shit out of you. Right? Rev, you also the souls. Yeah. Yeah. Some sense fucking got there. Some sense figured that shit out, basically. Whether whether she knew she was figuring it out or not. I went for the massage that I knew I could get out of him. Plus the aftercare from him is essentially a light massage. I told you I'm good at what I do. <laughs> he went to town on me. But honestly, I wanted the like sort of exfoliative process. I wanted the, the, the working of the blood flow. I wanted that sort of impact from it. It was akin to a mas massage. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's also good pain relief. Yeah, it hurts in the moment. But the, uh, the natural endorphin rush that you get from it. Yeah. It, it fucking, it really does. It, it acts as an interesting pain reliever as well. So, yeah, I opted for a flogging. And, you know, yeah, two rounds of it. It was, um, it went on for a while. It went on for a while. Um, as for how marked up I was, um, Karina, bright red and hot, apparently. Like, literally, like, because the flushing of the blood, you can feel the, the warmth from it. So, um, yeah. Eventually, he wrapped that up. He wrapped the flogging, and then the aftercare of the flogging, and then the flogging, and then the aftercare of the flogging. Um, and he was like, all right, I suppose it's time to go downstairs, because it was getting into the weeds. And we went downstairs and, you know, talked for a little bit longer. Um, he did not invite me to sit in his lap this time. He wanted me to just stand there, look pretty for him. <clears throat> and so, yeah, like that was, he eventually said, all right, let's get that stuff off of you. And I suppose you can get dressed now. Thank you, sir. And I got dressed and went home and, you know, texted him and told him that I was home safely per his request. Um, and yeah, that was that was my Saturday night. So there you go. Another DGen story time. All right.
Seriously, Zippy, you can go back to English now. Um, I can't believe I had to fucking re-record that. Can't believe I had to fucking re-record that. That was that was irritating. That was fucking irritating. Um I don't know if my voice will hold up to another fucking theory reading. Um, take your fucking pick. Oh, and since some sense got the closest with the massage and the fucking like got it got really close. Uh, some sense, I'm hereby awarding you five Kai points. They're completely worthless. They're and they're made up and they do absolutely nothing and they're not even worth bragging um, bragging about. So congratulations, some sense. <laughs> um. Oh. God, I want to do more theory reading, but my voice is rough today. Dude, my whole body is rough today. Um. Oh, we got more memes. <laughs> Caboose. Boose. Oh, oh, he said the thing. He said the thing. Everybody, everybody, everybody. He said the thing. I, I, I've, I've yet to see somebody say it actually in the wild. That's, that's so fucking adorable. That's amazing. Did the people actually fucking say it? I've, I've, I legitimately, I thought it was a meme. I thought it was a meme. I was like, they're not really saying it, right? Like, they know we're already making fun of them for it. Like, that's great. He said the thing. Yeah, Zippy. Yeah. I, I've, I've done rants on it. But I can do it. Yeah, I've done I've done some history of like anarchist tanky relations before. <clears throat> hey, you know what? I'm gonna go into an anarchist stream. Um, I'm gonna go into an anarchist stream and think they're gonna defend Joe Biden because I'm a fucking genius, yo. I'm a fucking genius. Watch this. I'm gonna put my galaxy brain on display for people. Fucking like we give a shit about Joe Biden. That's hilarious. You're adorable, man. Fucking dude, Pookie, you are cute. You're cute. It's been a rough day. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm tired. Actually seeing somebody fucking do it in the wild kind of redeemed this day to a certain extent. So thanks. Now he just says tr Trump amazing man oh Trump yeah Trump sucks too <laughs> oh <coughs> yeah well Petey thanks for being thanks for playing the game Like, right? Like, they won't even fucking say. 
I, I, I legitimately thought it was a meme. I, I'm not kidding you. I was like, there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way I'm going to catch somebody saying that shit in the wild. Sure enough, fucking walks in the room. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Tell me you're an idiot without telling me you're an idiot. Basically for twos. I, I, I legitimately, I was like, holy shit, there's no fucking way they're going to be walking around saying that, right? He still hasn't put two and two together. It's hilarious. I explicitly stated it for him as well. He thinks we're going to fucking defend Joe Biden. Cool. Keep waiting, bro. Keep waiting. Wow. He, he, he literally can't put this together. This is how fucking deep in the rabbit hole he is. I could ex I explicitly stated like fuck Joe Biden like he, we're not going to defend Joe Biden. Right? Like he walks into a fucking anarchist stream and does this rhetoric. And this fucking this dialogue tree that is so pathetic. And like continues doing it. This is goddamn fucking hilarious. I told you this is embarrassing. I had some teenagers come up to me uh, for a school assignment during the election and asked if I was voting for Biden or Trump. I said neither. Blew their minds. Hope I create some comrades a day. But to be fair, it's probably his entire vocabulary. So... Uh, no, they both got through Korea. Um, fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's, that fucking sucks, Karina. But good on you for, you know, speaking your mind on that one. I mean, that's, that's literally just what happened with Karina. I'm aware of the situation. <laughs> now Kavas is saying it. Great. Oh, let me clear these fucking... God, these fucking Twitch notifications are obnoxious. There you go. So, so Petey, so Petey, what, what's your, what's, what's your solution? <laughs> That's adorable too. Republicans are the only ones who care about election integrity. If, if you didn't capitalize that word, autocorrect might've helped you spell it correctly. So what's your solution, man? What's your what's your idea? What you got? Because I could sit here and t uh, use a you know a dialectical methodology and espouse rhetoric about hierarchical organization organizational modalities and dis uh, and distributed decision making processes. But that's that's me. I you clearly have a a topic and an issue at hand that you wish to discuss. So please es expand upon it. Uh, I would love to hear your your rhetoric about, around uh, surrounding this topic, Petey. Please, what's what's your solution? Like 
crimson, I know, right? There's no way. They just came in. Oh, which reminds me. It would take the D-Gen off the screen. Um, Yeah, there's no way they fucking sat through that. <coughs> yeah, Rev, you can. Yeah, depending on your autocorrect system, it'll treat it as a proper noun. Alize Brandine! Fuck that song. Um, yeah, there's no way they sat through that. And and getting the legitimate president back in, in office doesn't do shit. One, not legitimate. Two, who gives a shit? Like, of course he does. Yeah, he supports Trump. That's it. <laughs> got stuff, eh? Got stuff, Brandon. Um, yeah, like that's that's all he's about is fucking Trump. That's all he's got. He doesn't understand anything. Like that's I I fucking I'll put it, I'll bring Petey right on air. Petey, you want to come on air? You want to have this conversation? Without the Electoral College, we don't have a democracy. You don't understand what these words mean, do you? You, 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 you say things, but you apparently don't understand the meaning behind them. I, I really would love to talk to this person. I'd love to fucking talk to a person. Um, Minorities deserve a vote to not only people in big cities. Remember where you get your food or who makes it. Mexico? Mexico. 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 You mean Mexico, right? You mean Mexico? Because I live in the Southwest. It's Mexico. The answer to that is Mexico. It's, it's Southern California and Mexico. If you live anywhere in the Southwest United States, it's, it's, it's Southern California and Mexico. I'm talking about our great farmers, capital F, capital F. So I, I assume you mean farmers insurance company since farmers isn't capitalized like that. Do the farmers deserve more of a voice? Does the rurality deserve more voice than the city? Where do you draw this line? They're really interested. Because should, should say 20,000 people get more of a voice than, say, 40 million people? Where, where does this line get drawn for you? Do you, do you understand that Wyoming has 3.18 electoral votes to each one of California's? Well, 
What if everybody moved to California? Like literally everybody. Except say one person, the rest of all 49 remain or st states. Say everybody in this country moved to California. Except 49 people. Would that be still fair? Would those 49 pe people who have outweighed all of the other citizenry of the U.S. Would that be a would that be a fair compromise? Would that system be unbalanced, or would that be a proper balance? I'm just trying to figure out the line here. I'm trying to figure out how how twisted up you are about this. I just want to read you some numbers here. It's just, just out of curiosity, right? California has, at last check, 25,212,812 uh, 2, eligible voters and two senators. Wyoming has 434,584 eligible voters and two senators. Let's say Carol's uh, voting power in California's Senate legis delegation is diluted because she shares it with 25,200,811 other voters. Will's voting power in Wyoming's Senate delegation is diluted because it shares it, uh, shares it with 4, uh, 434,583 uh, other voters. But since Will's voting power is less diluted, it's greater than Carol's voting power. So if Carol has one vote in the Senate, how many votes in the Senate does Will have? Here, I'll answer it for you. It's 57. How is this democratic? So Carol casts her one vote for candidate A. Uh, Will cast his his 57 votes for candidate B. How is this democratic? And do you understand the origins of the electoral college as a repressive tool for the working uh, against the working class and the downtrodden in this country? You don't, do you? Do you also understand that the Senate explicitly is to keep the common man oppressed? Also, while we're at it, and I'm asking questions of somebody who's probable or probably already fled because math. Do you understand the Rothbardi? I'm sorry, not the Rothbardi. The um, the Burkean roots of your social, uh, social and political conservatism. Do you understand that by advocating for Trump and um, the Republicans and the conservatives in this country, that you are essentially a monarchist? You are a person arguing from a British position to maintain the French monarchy. Yeah, they're they're always cowards. Calling it dude's a fake Jew? Of course he is. Well, as a black man myself. Stop being a populist. You dumbing down your talking points is really worrying. Yeah. Well, I mean, after all, uh, after all for twos. I love these. I fucking love these, man. There's uh. the original subtle one. There's me. I hope you out. I'm back here.
I love that shit. Honestly, I love it. It's great. Fucking. I, I, I should send, I, I should legitimately send a thank you to the dummy, uh, fucking Cyberheart for stirring that shit. Just to, just for the beams out of the community. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful thing. Crimson. Yeah. Do you ever get shit for the two eights in your name, Crimson? Do people like treat you with a level of suspicion because of that? It's different. You can't even have eights in your name anymore. Right? Like you've got two eights anywhere in your name and fucking people are like secret Nazi. Secret Nazi. Yeah. Did anybody ever give you shit for that? Uh. Yeah, cupcake. I gotta say, I think I don't know. I you know I I gotta I. It's difficult to pick a, a pick a favorite out of these, but <laughs> sort of the Agent Smith aspect of this, I I really dig. Um. And then, you know, I, I really like this one too, but oh shit, man. Oh, I can't, I can't pick a favorite. This is a really good fucking ones. Also good black and good black and white grainy job on that fucking Karina. Fucking you grain that up appropriately. Solid black and white, quick cut out. Cut out. Only once, but I explained that it was my favorite number and it's just like symmetry and they backed off. Fair enough, Crimson. Yeah, just curious. Oh, somebody thinks I'm a secret fascist, right? Somebody, somebody complained on dis like, um, somebody complained on Kez's Discord server that like fucking that they they think I'm a secret fascist, and like you know I, I exhibit all sorts of sus behavior and shit like this, and so. Yeah, so we've been memeing on it since the beginning of the stream. <laughs> okay, and I'm the Queen of England then. <laughs> well, Your Highness, I have a favor to ask. Um, Yeah, so we tossed it on the list. CEO and president of Antifa, um, CIA agent, George Soros, uh, a, a paid agent for George Soros, um, fucking uh, part of the gay mafia and a secret agenda dating back into prehistory that's caused the ruination and downfall of societies the world over, and now secret fascist, who's apparently like like running people on the alt-right pipeline or something right? like that. So just just another title, just another title. Yeah, just collecting them. Uh, so many crowning achievements. I know, right? Not part of the gay mafia, the capo of the gay mafia, at least. Yes, I. You know, you know what? <sighs> Rev, I know. Like the different, like the usage of all the different positions that I gave for the, for the fucking memeing purposes. Kai is literally all of fascism. By the way, that's the title of that one is Kai is literally all of fascism. <laughs> uh, fucking man. I, I. Some days, man. Some days. Some days. Um, in fact, I think. Oh God, I God, I just wanna, I wanna get it done, but my voice isn't up to it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, that's not the one I want. Oh shit, I didn't re-enable anything. And I need to redo bits. Oh, fucking A. Alright, um... Save. Uh, give me a second here. There you go. Cool. Yeah, it's fucking useless, Zippy. Um. All right. It's quite easy, really. Uh, as a member of the Gate Cabal, you're an accelerationist who wished to see the downfall of civilization. To that end, you have a lot, uh, allied with the CIA and are training and recruiting fascist agents, as the agency often does, by performing as a useful idiot in the ranks of Antifa and double agent in the Soros organization. Easy. Done. Um. I may play some video games. I may play some video games. I'm not sure what I'll play, but you may see me in voice chat. You, see, you may see me in voice chat. Um, I kind of feel like playing The Ascent almost. I don't know. Somebody suggested Zots. I'm going to raid over to Zots because Zots is doing something or other. Um, it's followers only chat, which I hate, by the way. I fucking hate that shit. Don't be a, don't be a pussy. Just, just leave your chat open for anybody. Um, thank you for Tuce. Even though I'm running you over to the, uh, the alt, uh, running you through the alt right pipeline secretly and you don't know it. <laughs> yeah. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow's a late show. Oh, and I'll have been at my doms earlier in the day. So, catch y'all later. <laughs>